right here is the man cave. So there's a freezer here. And inside this freezer is something crazy. Oh my God. Are you ready to see what's inside this thing? Here we go. Three, two, one. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture. And today is the day where we finally put together the final parts to this pond. So I let it sit here for roughly 48 hours. Let it dry, I didn't want to smell anything, but we're all set up. It's pretty much identical to what it was before. Here you go, see, that's where the pipe used to go in. And all we have to do is plug it in, but not only that, we have to plug it in. We don't only have to plug it in, guys. We also have to double check on our guy right here. We gotta move this air stone real quick. See what there is to see. How you doing, kid? He's doing good. Now, as much as I love this Tiger Shovel Nose, and I want this Tiger Shovel Nose to do well and grow up, I don't think this is gonna be a good move for this Tiger Shovel Nose. Therefore, we're gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna hit up my best friend. Whoa, what the party! What's going on, man? Yeah, hello, Slayers. What I'm gonna do is, if you wanna see it, while World of Farty will be taking care of this fish on his channel, we're gonna scoop it up, put it in his place, check out his catfish kingdom, everything like that. Again, subscribe, we're doing a lot of stuff together, especially this year in 2020. On top of that, we're gonna be heading to Predatory Fins. That is right, because the whole purpose of this was to do what? Nurse and raise beautiful little baby fish to be absolutely amazing and giant. And maybe, 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 We'll add something inside here that could possibly contend with the mighty kitty. Kitty. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Well, Slayers, we'll meet you at Predatory Fence. Yeah, yeah. All right, Slayers, so we made it to Predatory Fence. Yeah, we're yeah. We're walking right here right now. Check out all of the new fish he made. In all of these fish. We went ahead and moved everything inside here on the side. Of nice, the nice. We have everything here. Uh -huh, a whole new world. For himself. <laughs> So guys, the original reason, which was a surprise, is that I wanted to get these albino arowanas right here. Yeah, hey, what's right up, bro? How's it going? What's up? What's up? What? He's a little confused. Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm about to be hanging out with you for 10 days. Wait, what? 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 Okay. I'll be hanging out with him 10 days. I'll be talking about that in a second. But guys, the thing is, these albino arowanas, unfortunately, are too small. Too small? It's way too wide, and it's just going through. Oh, and it's just oh, not what you talking happen. about? Unfortunately, it's just it's just too wide of a hole. Shall we slay him? Yeah, so wide. it's always gonna be too <laughs> wide. So that's the thing. So oh. we did, unfortunately, we have these. We're gonna wait on them probably to get that uh, just about that big. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah. And yeah. Over there. Let's walk over there. Why not? I feel like I personally feel like this size would be ideal. It's about average, a little bit above average. I agree. Right? I agree. So that it won't fit in the most holes and stuff like that. So <laughs> it wouldn't slip through. It wouldn't fit through at all, it would be kind of tight. Therefore, our fish would survive versus getting them eaten with our massive catfish that we have inside. True, true. Now, guys, I wanted to talk about not only the fish that we have here in my buddy's business, but I did want to talk about a trip I'm going to be doing with him. And on top of that, a very crazy thing that a lot of fish keepers deal with. And that is death. All right, so what we have here, guys, is a freezer. And what's inside of this freezer is something crazy. I'm gonna have to get predatory friends, have to get Rodrigo to go ahead and give us access to this freezer. Now, guys, we wanna talk about all fish keepers deal with that. And sometimes, some people can't let go and therefore they keep their fish. So in here could be a plethora of dead fish that we just have watched them grow from babies to giants that it's just so hard to watch them die. Therefore, we have to keep them there to remind us like, man, I had this fish, I had that fish. I have big ones still frozen in my house because I personally love and enjoy that fish. This fish I still have at my parents' house, AKA the potato puffer spud that I loved that's still in the freezer. So guys, we just have personal attachment to these fish because they mean so much to us. So let me go ahead and get you filled in on what's going on. I'm probably going to be going to a very special place that can house all these type of fish in the wild. Mm. So let me go get Rodrigo right now, Predatory Fins, and I'll talk about it. All right, Slayer, so here we are. We are Predatory Fins. What's up, bro? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Rodrigo, Predatory Fins. We are going to be doing something special together. It'll be a lot of fun. We, next Wednesday, both of us are leaving a week from today to... The Amazon. The Amazon, guys. We're going to the Amazon. I'm so excited. It'll be my first big trip. And what we're targeting are these monster fish right here. We're looking for the Temenesis peacock bass. 
even if it's speckled. It doesn't matter. All four species of Tamenesis bass. I want to see an Arapaima. An Arapaima would be pretty cool to see, but we see them here all the time, and they want to go ahead and bite and do some crazy stuff all the time. But I want to see things we don't see on the everyday basis over here, man. Big Piraiba, let's big, make that. Big Piraiba. We can do, what else we can do? Red tail, giant red tails we can eat what? What's this? Let's make a bat. What do you mean? Who's gonna catch the biggest for you? Uh, okay. No. The loser okay. wants to cross the river okay. naked and afraid style. What? How does this happen? We're we gonna always, be in the jungle. We're gonna be in the jungle. Look, guys, I'm gonna be in the jungle. I'm gonna take all my film gear. He's gonna take all his film gear. We're gonna film everything and document it. I will be dormant, not alive, basically for 10 whole days. Yeah. We're, we have no communication with society for 10 whole days. No, where are we going? There's no internet Nothing. service. No Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. It's just just the fish, some dudes, Food. and some water. That's it. That's it. Now, guys, also, I want to go ahead and reveal a little secret here. This guy right here is my baby. He will be coming home with me very, very soon. I have to jump in the tank. With this guy right here on top of that. Oh, you can go in. All right, I'll go in. We'll do that. We might come out later. And there's a whole bunch of animals here. But again, guys, the focus. There'll be pacus out there. Massive to menaces, peacock bass. Maybe some hybrids. You never know. That could happen in the wild. It could. It, it could. could happen. Tiger shovel noses will be able to. What's going to be crazy is the thing is we're going to have to be able to catch everything in order to eat and survive. You might, you might be going to hunting too with Everything. I'm talking about we are roughing it. We're living with villagers. We're doing it. It's going to be crazy. 10 days in the Amazon with this guy. So with that, I want to go ahead and show these guys what we might be able to be holding and catching in the Amazon as well. Right here is the man cave. So there's a freezer here. And inside this freezer is something crazy. Oh my God. Are you ready to see what's inside this thing? Well, we you already know. But we, right, hold on. Slayers, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. One. These are all fish that you kept and they all died. Everything. Fish that died, yeah. Everything. Everything. How about what, what is this? What happened here to this big oh arowana? Look at the size of this thing. And this guy oh my God. was a rescue. Um, the owner was having a lot of ammonia problems in his pond. But by the time we got to it, it was too late. Let me just show make. everybody this real quick. The size of this pool. The, the Temenesis peacock is stuck to this, I guess. Look at the size of this arowana. Yeah, this is a little over three feet. Dude, that's massive. It's so big. This is so sad. And then you said you just Have recently seen anything that big before? Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> and this one's a Tamensis that I just lost. So this is what we're going to be going after in, in Brazil. Yeah, but they're like three times bigger. I can't wait. They'll be bigger than the arowana. So what else did we, oh my god, are those all a sturgeon? Yeah, we took uh, yeah, one trip a long yeah, time ago. That's the ones that didn't make it. I'm gonna put this over here. <laughs> These are the ones that didn't make it? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. So instead of throwing them away, I was just gonna chop them for food, but. Yeah, those are the super nice ones. The super nice Diamondbacks. I don't those are this is. Oh my god. Oh, these were a puffer that came from China. <laughs> it's an African here. Uh, and these puffers are pretty cool too, but they didn't make the shipping. Look at that. Look at this thing. This is crazy. So you're just literally keeping all of these and potentially make skeletons or something? Yeah. yeah. Like oh, these are tilapia oh. for uh, to feed the aeroplimus. Frozen tilapia. Oh my god. What is this? Just a Joey, uh, Joey fish. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, isn't that the biggest gopher you've seen, bro? Oh, wow. oh yeah. my god. I don't know, mine's alive. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> a miracle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that gopher. Wow. A moment of silence for the fallen. Back into the bag. Put that one over. Thanks, man. You don't know, man. What are these? These are puffers? Yeah, there's a bunch of puffers. The bag and transport, I guess, so when you got them. I mean, I don't want to get rid of them, bro. Like, you know, I'm not it's a creep or anything, but it's a meat sack. Yeah. It's literally a meat sack. I always wondered why you always look up to nothing instead of looking into the camera, Rod. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you always look like you have bro, the down. Bro, you got three. Look at this. You got three lenses here. I know I have three lenses. So which one what are you looking at? New iPhone. If you look anywhere around here, it's <laughs> the camera. We have the new iPhone, too. <laughs>
dude, you lost this. Yeah, that was my favorite. Oh, that's man. beautiful. That's tough. Yeah, but it was shocking. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks a little stiff. <laughs> long face oh, Tiger Show That one is beautiful. Yeah, Look at that long face oh, though. You know, you know, like, dude, there's so many things. What else, what else we got? What the hell is it? Oh, that's an Abba Abba. That's crazy, but you have to hear the a clown. Freezer in here. Yeah, dude. Uh, what else is in here? It's crazy, bro. Look, is, is this a royal clown? Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at all of these sturgeons. Guys, I went with him to his sturgeon farm in Tallahassee. Look at these sturgeons and rescued these sturgeons. Where are you I putting all this way, crap? Look at this. I think it was the way the guy was tossing them around. He was throwing them around like they were toys. Just tossing them around. They were supposed to be rescued. I don't think they were rescued. This knife right here is interesting about her. It's after she died, uh, they ate her. Dang. That's crazy. She had eggs. Where do you see eggs at? They ate the eggs, bro. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Mega Pleco. Why do you keep that? all this stuff? In There's weirdo? so much stuff. Look at this. Oh my god. That was amazing. Yeah. Yours died know. too? Mine I jumped out. I have a couple of them. How did yours die? I think she jumped out. Even with the net and everything? Yeah. Oh, actually, she got stuck on the net. That's what actually Oh. There's so many yeah. in there. There's so much stuff. Look at that. Is that a Pleco right there? That big one right there? This one, yeah. yeah. Up. Yeah. Dang, man. This is a Titan Pleco. This is a Spotted Pleco. Wow. Really? Dude, it's, you can also like study them and learn from it. You know what I mean? What are you learning? How to make a fish popsicle? Oh! How they get ugly when they get frozen. It's not going to look pretty anymore. Look how spikes. Look at these spikes though. Right here. All these spikes and these bristles on yeah, the side. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this is the same material as your name. I don't know. You wouldn't know that, would you? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is probably my saddest one, bro. Oh my god! Is that Aramatis? It's my Aramatis. Yeah, I was going around before. The vampire fish. He grew from this size to this size in a year. Ah. Uh, the now, cool thing about them, you see those holes right there? Yeah. yeah. Their bottom jaw teeth goes in there, so the teeth gets in those holes. Whoa. It goes inside of their head, yeah. Wow. Still, I can't believe that. Look at this. Look at this one more time. That sucks. That's the gold. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, you have yeah, it. Oh, you want a frozen one? I'll sign it up. I'm just trying to make a buck. You're planning on defrosting all of these and making skeletons out of every single one of these things? Yeah. Remind me so not to come around. That'd be awesome. Guys, comment below and let us know if you guys know someone who can actually do that. What? Well, a couple they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. They're not expensive. I mean, they're not cheap. They use those beetle bug stuff. You can buy them on Amazon. I knew someone who tried to do that with a Baku. Terrible idea. Let's start putting some of this stuff back before it starts leaking. Yeah, there already stinks, bro. Oh, all right. If there is anything intact there, it's broken for sure, not far. This is crazy, man. I'm gonna put this guy back. Let's go look at what else Rod has in the store. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I'll meet you guys out there. All right, Rod. So the last time we're gonna see you, we're gonna be on a plane together to the Amazon. And in the meantime, I'm gonna check around the store real quick, see what there is to see. But uh, it was nice knowing us, kid. Um, better wear some protective gear, bro. Yeah, definitely gonna be wearing some protective gear, right? I'm gonna bring like a little clamp too to clamp that to make sure that parasite doesn't go inside. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we're gonna make sure oh, we get some something. Some rubber bands will do it too. Yeah, 100%. So guys, I do wanna go ahead and show you guys how this platinum peacock bass is doing. Look at Rob, look at these guys looking at me. Just gotta harass me every time I'm making a video. Anyways, guys, this guy's doing good. And there's so many things here available that you guys need to go ahead and pick up before Rodrigo and I head to Brazil. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go ahead and comment below what you thought about this video and what I should be doing in the future. Guys, subscribe to the channel and become a slave. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Booyah.